disciplined people who engage in disciplined thought and who take disciplined action. This staging process is what we found in the good to great research. And notice what comes first. It's disciplined people. And it brings me to one of the key findings from all of our work. When Dick Cooley became chief executive of Wells Fargo in the late 1970s, he knew he would be facing the storm of deregulation. He knew that the entire banking industry would be upended when deregulation swept through. The board, understandably concerned, asked Cooley, what is your vision? What is your strategy? Where will you lead us? How will you get us through the storm of deregulation? And Cooley had a wonderful answer. I don't know. Not only that, it's the wrong question. See, I am not going to first figure out where to drive this bus and then get people on the bus. No, I'm going to do it completely opposite. I am not going to figure out where to drive the bus until I've got the right people on the bus. And only once I've got the right people on the bus, the wrong people off the bus, and the right people on the key seats, then and only then will I turn my attention to the question of where we will drive this bus. The best executives we've studied always think first about who and then about what. It's not about just getting a great team. It's not about finding talent. It's not about getting great people. No. The key word is first. First get right people. First get the people on the bus. First think about who. Put who ahead of strategy, who ahead of tactics, who ahead of technology, who ahead of business ideas, who ahead of everything. First who, first who, first who, then what.